Buck Davidson joining me now. He will ride three here at Rolex. How he does it, we're not really sure, but today he rides two horses, both with great tests, and his most recent ride, Petite Flower, putting in one of her best tests to date. Yeah, I was really, really happy with her. I mean, she's first time here, and, um, you know, the changes are usually our difficult thing, and uh, she did four good changes, so I, uh, you know, you can't, you know, you got to be excited. They do their best test in the big atmosphere, so really proud of her. You have three very exciting, terrific horses here with you this weekend, and you have so many upper-level horses now, one would have to guess how you could choose who to bring, which is a good problem to have. But a little about the three you have here this weekend. Well, they're all nice horses. Um, you know, Reggie and Kobe, our park trader, are obviously very experienced, especially Reggie. And um, Flower, this is her first time at this. You know, I've only been riding her for sort of eight months now. Um, we've had really good days and really bad days. So um, I'm hoping we're on a, a good weekend this weekend with her. She's got all the ability in the world. Um, and obviously Reggie, his record speaks for itself. And, um, and Kobe was good this morning. Um, you know, I thought he was better than he's ever been at this level and he got about the same score, but they're scoring tough today and he was first to go. So proud of him and uh, you know, we just got to stay on that now. When you ride more than one horse here, I know you and I have talked about this before, but for those of you at home, the rider will get to pick here in Kentucky who they have in what order. And, and Buck, what goes into those thoughts and obviously the choices of, of how you put those horses? Well, the, to, the first thing is getting the horses here and deciding, you know, who comes and who doesn't come. And it really comes down to the horses. They kind of tell us what they want to do. And, you know, it's sort of prided myself on listening to the horse more than telling them. And, um, you know, I felt like the two that got left home uh, wanted to do a three-star. And they were just sort of, you know, th th they were ready for this. They're fit, ready to go. They're going to go to Jersey. But I just felt like in the best interest of them, it was to do another three-star. Now you pick the order. Um, you know, we put a lot of thought into it, a lot of things go into it. You know, you think about the dress size, of course, but really for me, it came down to the cross country. And, you know, I knew I was gonna be number one. And so for me, Park Trader is a good choice because he's not like any other horse here. You, you, you don't really tell him too much. Yeah. And um, so I don't care how many strides anything is. <laughs> and, um, you know, so it's probably a bit better to just don't worry about it and sure. aim him at the jumps. And, you know, Flower um, obviously is quite green. And um, so I thought it'd be nice to be able to see something or at least ridden around it. And then Reggie, I was almost thinking it'd be good for him to go second, um, but I, could, I didn't know whether he was gonna go last Thursday or first Friday. And um, you know, and then we looked at the weather and the weather looked good because you wouldn't want to go last in pouring rain, you know? So um, <laughs> you sort of look at all that stuff and the um, decision was you know, made with the owners on sort of who would go where. And, um, Obviously, we decide Reggie last, and uh, you know he likes the atmosphere, and uh, you know people like him, so it's kind of it's kind of good for them to be able to see him. So hopefully it works out. Hopefully I've picked right, and uh, we'll see how we do. Well, you have a fantastic group of owners and, a, and really an amazing support system. So they're all here cheering you on this weekend. They'll be out there really excited, nervous, riding each jump with you on Saturday. We saw Miss Martin crying after the dressage here. The atmosphere getting to her a little bit. Just so excited with how well Flower just did. And, and Saturday, you've been around this track a lot. But this is a big year. It's a wag year. And like you said, to take a horse that's never been around a four-star, how do you kind of help? Help, how would you plan to help her along the way? Well, again, I'll just listen to her and let her tell me, you know, as we're going, you know, if, you know, I'll sort of throw the watch away, you know, there's a competitive side to me. But the, um, you know, I did the same thing at Galway, um, and then she ended up winning. She's pretty fast. <laughs> she's, uh, yeah, she's really fast. And so I basically have to get her relaxed and jumping and confident and that I can touch her and ride her. And, you know, Galway started off really quietly, or at least I thought it was. And, um, you know, I got to about seven minutes and realized where I was and I thought all right here we go we have a chance and um, you know that's kind of what's going to happen this weekend I you know I hope I um, you know get to seven or eight minutes here still clear and look at my watch and go uh -uh, all right flower we got to go and it's time to answer and and I think she will all right well we've talked about her a lot and and one more quick thing about flower um, she was bred by a person obviously pretty special to you too so a little extra pressure but support coming from there yeah, I mean, he bred both of us, so if uh, anything goes wrong, it's his fault. <laughs>
<laughs> Let's try it. <laughs> Mr. Bruce Davidson, <laughs> breeding petite flower, and obviously Buck's father as well. So he'll be a very excited man and nervous. We've all seen him nervous here um, at Kentucky and your family. We've talked about it before. Huge legend here. Your father has a statue over there. You grew up at these park at this park and on this terrain and um, have so many fans here, Buck. So we're very very excited to watch you as always this weekend and um, a lot of a lot of course out there for you and, and Derek's got it all ready for you to tackle. Yep. Yeah, it's a great course and I'm excited to uh, give it a shot, but first I got to worry about Reggie tomorrow and uh, then we'll worry about Saturday. All right. Well, good luck tomorrow and congratulations on a good day today. Awesome. Thanks, Frankie.